Hey team, welcome back. This is Amir Hamza and we are going to start another interesting series on the certification from the CompTIA which is about the Security Plus. In this series we are going to cover the different practice exam which will present us what type of exam is going to be and what challenges we are going to face in the exam. So regarding this information this is not an official practice exam from the CompTIA, but the, from the Dion Training Center. It will contain 90 questions with 90 minutes and the 90 person to pass the exam. In official exam, the percentage is a bit low to pass, which is 755 points out of 900, which comes up approximately 83% but the questions and the time will be remain the same so without wasting time let's get dive into it and let's start the exam so here is the first question Jason has created a new password cracking tool using some Python code when he runs the program the following output is displayed Based on the output, what type of password cracking method does JSON new tool utilize? So, there is some error from the exam that there should be the image, but the image is not properly displayed. So, we are going to be guess here with the guess. Uh, let's choose uh, something like this. And next question. You work for a bank interesting, interested in moving some of its operation to the cloud, but it's worried about the security. You recently discovered an organization called Cloud Bank that was formed by 15 local banks as a way from them to build a secure cloud-based environment that can be accessed by 15 member banks. Okay, so we can clearly see that there are 15 local banks are connected together, making up the community like Dagnar which is which cloud model best describe the the cloud created by the cloud bank so that's obviously a community a small business recently expired experienced a catastrophic data loss due to flooding from a recent hurricane the customer had no backups and all of the hardware associated with the small business was destroyed during the flooding as a part of rebuilding process the small business contract with your company to help create a disaster recovery plan so you need to create a disaster recovery plan to ensure that this never occurs again which of the following recommendation should you include as a part of disaster recovery plan so what you are going to include in the disaster recovery plan out of this so we will start from the below backup should be connected to a cloud based storage solution seems okay local backup should be conducted not gonna be helpful Purchase waterproof devices to prevent data loss, not gonna be helpful. Local backups should be verified weekly to ensure no data loss. So all of these will not be going to be helpful in the during the flooding period. So this is the only option or the correct option, the cloud-based storage. What command should a forensic analyst use to make a forensic disk image? So there is a command and the tool which is used, it's known as DD. A computer was recently infected with a piece of malware without any user intervention. The malware is now spreading throughout the corporate, spreading throughout the corporate and infecting other computers it finds. What type of mal malware most likely infected these computers? So it's gonna be Trojan, not why oh sorry, worm, not virus, not Trojan, but the worm. Only because worm has the capability to spread all over the system. Okay, Barbara received a phone call from a colleague asking why she sent him an email with a lewd and unusual content. Okay, Barbara does not remember sending the email to the colleague. What is Barbara most likely to be a victim of? Okay, Barbara received a phone call from a colleague. Okay, it means that Barbara's email was used for to send us a message to the colleague. Now what? Is Barbara most likely to be victim of? Obviously, hijacked email. Not a ransomware, not a spear phishing, not a phishing. Because that should be connected uh, like 
victim in these cases the victim should be barbara but in this case it's colleague and the email used was from the of the barbara so hijacked email which analysis framework provide the most explicit detail regarding how to mitigate or detect a given threat so whenever the explicit detail regarding like the mitigation we uh, we need to get mitigate regarding the threat we are going to follow the framework of mitire several users have conducted the help desk to report that they received an email from a well known banking stating that their accounts have been compromised and they need to click here to reset their banking password some of these users are not even customer of this particular bank through which the of the following best describe this type of attack so this going up to be phishing because it's not a spear phishing it's not targeting a single or individual is is a phishing for all of the customers not even the customers or so people who are and who are all not the part of this bank so it should be phishing next the passers fast corporation has recently been embarrassed by several high profile data breach the cio proposes improving the company cyber security posture by mitigating uh, migrating images of all current server and infrastructure to a cloud based environment what if any is this flaw in moving forward with this approach okay this approach is not going to be helpful because we need to fight with them uh, with the actual problem so what are the answer this approach only changes the location of the current network this approach is assume that the cloud will provide better security is current on site the company has already paid for the physical server no this is a mal approach will increase the security of the server infrastructure most probability location not going to be this approach only location but not the surface of attack seems okay we show the following a uh, secure coding best practice ensure special character like this one and are not acceptable via web form it should be input validation okay we are going to be with the input validation an employee contacts the service desk because they cannot open an attachment they receive in their email the service desk agent conducts a screen sharing session with the user and investigate the issue the agent notices that the attack file is named invoice this 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 and the black pop up window appears and then disappear quickly when the attachment was double clicked which was the following most likely cause of the issue so the email is from form of spam could be the attachment is using double file extension to mask its identity uh, yes the file contains embedded link not a link they are, they are not mentioning any link the user does not have a pdf reader uh, not possible the email is from a spam doesn't matter so the most probability is using double file extension what popular open source port scanning tool is commonly used for host discovery and service identification so the nmap is actually used for host discovery and service identification so nmap when conducting forensic analysis of hard drive what tool would best prevent changing the hard drive content obviously hardware write blocker yes hardware write blocker software write blocker also but software is not always is again on the hard drive so it's not much beneficial but the hardware write blocker is the best one you are conducting an incident response and have traced the attack source to some compromised user credential okay after performing log and analysis you discovered that the attack was successfully authenticated from an unauthorized foreign country okay from the foreign country your government your management is now asking for you to implement a solution to help mitigate this type of attack from occurring again which of the following following should you implement so password complexity has a, has nothing to do with the foreign country authorization context based yes you can do authentication based on the context based on the location single sign in no self service password is set no tailors need to sanitize hard drives from some leaves before returning them to a supplier 
at the end of the lease period the workstation hard drive contains sensitive corporate data which is the most appropriate choice to ensure that the data exposure does not occur in this process so the drive must be destroyed and ensured no you don't want to is on lease so you want to return clear validate documents sanitize and drives okay clear the drives no could be purge validate and document sanitization is the correct answer because clear only clears only deletes whereas the purge actually totally remove the bits to zero which system would classify traffic as malicious and being based on explicitly defined example of the malicious and begin traffic in traffic so it could, should be machine learning only machine learning can do the process and based on that it will take analysis what type of weaknesses is john ripper used to test during technical john john ripper and hash it hash cat actually used the uh, like the hashes where john the ripper uh, find the password or boot for the password boot force your company is setting up a system to accept credit card information in their retail and online location which of the following compliance type you should you be most concerned with dealing with the credit card whenever you talk, you see information about the credit card it should be PCIDSS this is the standard what technique is most effectively in determining whether or not increasing end user security training would benefit the organization during your technical assessment in the network to check the end user security training either they are capable of to understand the security posture or not you should go with the social engineering which of the following would not be useful in defending against zero day attack or zero day threat why no patching yes segmentation no threat intelligence no patching because we are not uh, patching is when you know about the threat or the vulnerability then you can only patch whereas on the zero day you have no information regarding the vulnerability which of the following type of attacks are usually used as a part of man in the middle attack ddos no in this case we use different uh, bots to perform the attack brute force no spoofing yes tailgating no so only in the spoofing you actually um, get the packets or for example you are capturing the packets uh, between the communication so you are in the middle so it's a man in the middle attack you are developing your vulnerability scanning plan and attempting to scope your scan properly you have decided to focus on the critic uh, criticality of the system to the organization operations when prioritizing the system in the scope of your scan which of the following would be the best place to gather the information the only the scope and the scan based on ip subnets ask the ceo for the list could be conduct a nmap scan that will determine os of each system os is not helpful and also the ip subnets are also not going to be helpful because we are working with the critical uh, criticality of the system so we should go for the bcp bcp is business continuity plan so it only contain the information what business asset should be on the priority and on the least priority so we should go for the bcp an identity cybersecurity researcher has contacted your company to prove a buffer overflow vulnerability exists in one of the application okay which technique would be being most likely to identify this vulnerability in your application during development okay during development so dynamic code uh, code analysis no static code analysis yes manual peer review no peer programming also no so you should go for the static code analysis which of the following is more secure wireless security and encryption protocol it's wpa2 because it's the only uh, the latest is wpa3 which is not listed here but the our the, the most of the devices use WPA2 with AES and CCMP. Why would a company want to utilize a wildcard certificate? Wildcard certificate is only used when you are working with the subdomains. 
you want you uh, you don't take the individual certificate for each subdomain whereas you use wildcard for your all subdomains so there is only single uh, certificate for all of your domain and the subdomains to reduce the certificate management burden yes to secure a certificate private key no to increase the certificate encryption key length no to extend the renewal date and of the certificate no only to reduce the burden so you don't need to go for to cert to get certificate for each of your individual domain which of the following is the least secure wireless security and encryption obviously web a web is the least privileged unencrypted data communication protocol your company just installed a new web server within a dmc you have been asked to open up the port for your web bro bro browsing on the firewall secure web browsing on the firewall which port you should open 443 443 80 is http 21 is normal um, FTP 443 is HTTPS. You are helping to set up a backup plan for, for your organization. The current plan states that all of the organization server must have a daily backup conducted. These backup are then saved to a local NAS, NAS device. You have been asked to recommend a method to ensure the backups will work when needed for restoration. Which of the following should you recommend okay you need to prove these these backups are working so set up scripts to automatically at reattempt any failed backups so you need to show them they actually work so it will only do when the system get fails no attempt to restore to a test server yes you can do it on the test server from one of the backup files create an individual copy of the backup offset only making the copy will not help frequently this sort of server from backup file again only will be tested when the server goes down whereas you, you need to show them right now so go for the test server to implement and show them your organization has recently been the target of a spear phishing campaign you have identified the website associated with the link in the spear phishing okay there is a spear phishing email with a link and want to block it which of the following technique would be the most effective application blacklist there's no they are not mentioning any application so no containment so nothing has been happened so containment is not the one quarantine again there is no such attack to quarantine url filter yes you can add your link to a url filter Leon Training wants to ensure that none of its computers can run peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program. No, they are talking about the program. On its office computer, which of the following practices should be implemented to achieve this? Enable NAC, mm, Mac filtering, application blacklisting, application whitelisting. So application blacklisting is the most probably the answer because it's talking about the peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program. The programs are fall under the application. So adding those program into a blacklist will be helpful. Chris just downloaded a new third party email client for his smartphone. When Chris attempts, Chris attempt to log into his email with his username and password, the email client generates an error messaging stating that individual clients were entered, invalid credentials were entered. Chris assumes he must have forgotten his password. So he resets his pass email username and password and then re-enters them into an email client. Again, Chris receives an individual invalid credential error. What is the most likely cause the invalid credential error regarding Chris' email client? His email account requires a strong password to be used. So, password is not an uh, error here. His smartphone has full device encrypted, maybe. His email account requires multi-factor authentication maybe his email account is lockout so in the lockout uh, scenario the message should be different the smartphone doesn't matter 
so most probably he has set up the multi-factor authentication which he is not actually giving so he is getting invalid credential because um, the otp or the other second factor also fall and in, inside invalid credentials you are installing a new wireless network in your office building and want to ensure it is secure which of the following configuration would create the most secure wireless regarding now the real is wpa3 but not there is not distinct wpa3 so wpa2 either this one or this one whereas rc4 is uh, using symmetric and aes is asymmetric so wpa2 and aes because wpa2 uh, no, are not using the rc4 uh, is uh, wpa only so wpa2 and aes which of the following would not be included in the company's password policy password age password complexity requirement password style password history so in the policy there are always the age after age, the password will be expired Password complexity is important like the minimum character, maximum character. Password style is not a policy. Password history could be, but password style not be. Okay, a security analyst is conducting a log review of the company web server and found two suspicious entries. One is this is get login to end user. There is some input validation, which is get login to this and again the input user admin so there is some type of injection could be and the analyst contacted the web server and asked the copy of source code to the login script the script is as follows php include this is a traverser no it's not a traverser but it's a directory it's open, trying to open this file user get this 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 sql select star from this one okay In field it is actually inserting the sql so it should be a sql injection you are the first forensic analyst to arrive on a scene of data breach you have been asked to begin evidence collection on the server while waiting for the rest of your team to arrive which of the following evidence should you capture first so so you always uh, go to capture uh, to start uh, capturing the traffic from or the data from the uh, volatile memories is actually include the ram processes cpu caches etc so in this case it should be arp or l3 cache which is the network so most probably layer 3 so in layer 3 arp will be included a computer is infected with malware that has infected with the windows kernel to hide okay windows kernel infected with windows kernel only root kit actually infect kernel which type of malware most likely to be obviously root kit your company has decided to move all of its data into cloud your company is small and has decided to purchase some on demand cloud resources from a commercial provider such as google drive as its primary cloud which of the following types of clouds is your company using so cloud drive is actually a public one so they are choosing the public not the community not the hybrid because it is always available for each type of users google drive so it should be public okay there is one example three to five a question how would you appropriate categorize the old this authentication me method being displayed here okay this is the iris scan so one time password no biometric multi-factor pap authentication no biometric your company explicitly obtain a permission from its customer to use their email address as an account identifier in crm max who works at the marketing department in the company's german headquarters just email all their customer to let them know about a new sales promotion this weekend okay so company get the permission to use their email address in crm whereas max e marketed e send them the email marketing emails which is the part of the marketing department 
he emailed all the customers on their email regarding promotion this weekend which of the following privacy violation has occurred okay there was a privacy since data minimization policy were not followed properly data minimization mm, not talking about this one there has no privacy violation because only corporate employees had access but there is a violation actually there was a privacy violation since the customer explicitly gave permission yes to use email address as an undefined and did not consent to receive marketing email yes so that's because that's always when you ever use have seen that uh, they always give you a tick to get the promotion emails or not so if you select if you un keep the unchecked so you will not getting the one but if you still get your the promotion email then it's mean that they are violating their violation so this is more probably the answer there was no privacy violation to the customer email secure no what problem can you solve using a wireshark packet capturing uh, perform packet capture analyze on a network track source code version no validate creation date no resetting password so perform packet capture which of the following term is used to describe the period of time so the how much time it takes following a disaster that an individual system may remain offline so how much time you should give uh, to how long actually your system can remain offline so that's obviously going for the recovery time objective it should be a part of recovery time objective document mean time to repair it's actually the time you take to repair it mean time before failure so the time before the failure has been happened rpo recovery point objective okay, what's the point to get uh recover it or how to recover whereas the rdo is the best answer so it will actually include that or uh, to how long your system can be offline a cyber security analyst noticed that the attacker is trying to crack WPS pin associated with a wireless printer. The device logs show that the attacker tried 000, 0012 and continued increment of 1 till pin this, this, this. Which of the following type? It's obviously a brute force attack. Because in only in the brute force attack, you uh, check each. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till to this number or something else. Because in other cases, they actually use a different uh, uh, robots file and different files to compare the with the valid variable. A security analyst conducts a NMAP scan of a server and found that the port 25 port 25 SMT is open. What risk might the server be exposed? Open mail relay, yes. Web portal data leak, no. Clear text authentication, no. File printation, no. It's regarding SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. So it should be like regarding the mail. Your company has an office in Boston and is worried that its employees may not reach at the office during the period of heavy snowfall. You have been asked to select a technology that would allow employees to work remotely from their homes poor weather in poor weather to report which or which for following you should select you should always select the vpn so because vpn only will create a secure tunnel between you and your organization to communicate net is a network address translation it only change your private ip to a public ip ids intrusion detection system is only to detect the suspicious activity vlan is actually to separate your ip into different subnets whereas vpn creates a tunnel for cause analysis of an edge router unexpected failure a cyber security analyst discovered that the system administrator had purchased a device from an unauthorized seller it's always a bad activity to buy or, pur or purchase a device from unauthorized seller when you're going doing the task on or working for a big firm the analysts suspect that the router may be a counterfeit device okay it may be modified or 
uh, tempered which of the following control would be have been most effective in preventing this issue always go for with the uh, proper uh, provider conduct secure supply chain management yes ensure all antivirus no will not be helpful increase network vulnerability no verify the router and patch and no it could be but uh, the most probably is uh, this much so you could, should check that from where you are getting your device uh, if you are going uh, you, you are getting cisco device from third party or from the cisco if you are getting from the cisco then it's okay if you are not from the cisco third party that's some bad uh, that's bad thing thing okay this is the again a simple how would you appropriately ca categorize the authentication method being displayed here so this is the actually the token device so, uh, which generates the uh, password and that password will never be generated again so it should be op one time password it's not biometric it's a multi-factor authentication method part of method could be used for method but not the one is a one time password machine so based on the image provided what is occurring so we can clearly see that attacker is sending ismp ping request to the server and it's a lot of the ping requests so it should be ping flood which of the following uh, cryptograph uh, cryptographic algorithm is classified as asymmetric asymmetric algorithms are defi hellman's I see if Ace metric is only ECC here. RC4, 2 fish, DS, or is uh, all are uh, symmetric. You want to provide control remote access to a remote administration interface of multiple servers. Okay, you need to provide control remote access of admin interface to multiple servers hosted in a private cloud. What type of segmentation security solution choice for this scenario? This is always a jump box because jump box is on is the front server or the computer which actually give you the for example in the DMC there is on the front there will be a jump box that will give you privilege or the uh, outside the network to connect remotely in, to the machine inside the DMC zone. Which of the following best describe the type of attack shown here? So here the attacker is sending the ping request to the subnet or the internet but it's giving replies toward the server so because the source IP is the IP of the server so it's actually a smurf attack ping not a ping of death not a xmas tree attack not a man in the middle attack man in the middle attack it would be if it's getting some information from the communication between internet and the server but as smurf assuming that the dion training trust thought teaches and thought teaches trust udemy so there is a chain this man trust this x trust y y trust z then we can assume dion training also trust udemy yes then x trusted y z what concept of iam does the previous statement represent transitive trust it's always a transitive trust from one person to other and then to third. Your company is required to remain complain, uh, complain, uh, compliant with a uh, PCI again talking about the credit card due to type of information processed by your system. If there was a breach of the system, which type of rule would you be required to provide during the incident? Notification to your credit card processor. Notification to federal law? No. Notification to no. Notification to Visa or Master? Could be. This one or this one. But the answer should be this one. Why? Because this is only mentioning Visa and Mastercard. Visa and Mastercard are the providers, service providers. There are also other vendors, Union Pay, American Pay, PayPal, etc. PayPal is not the credit card one, but so you should go for credit card processor it actually includes all of them a firewall administrator has configured a new dmc to allow public system to, to be segmented from the organization internal network okay the firewall now has three security zone untrusted mean internet 
TMZ and trusted mean intranet. The firewall administrator has been asked to enable remote desktop access from a fixed IP. So, okay. The question starts from not here but from here. The firewall administrator have been asked to enable remote desktop access. Remote desktop access. So the port number should be 3389. From a fixed IP on network. Server DMZ is the chief uh, security officer to work from its home after hours. The CSO home internet uses static IP. 40, 143, 27, 43, and 32. So let's see what which is the IP. So okay, this is these are the actually the networks, no, not the static IP. So this is answer could be this one or this one, this one or could be this one because using the 32 and 32 giving the exact uh, IP. The remote desktop server assigned a public facing IP address. This one. So this one or this one. So it's again the network. So answer should be this one. And using RDP, we go RDP. So the port thirty three three eight nine. So the IP of the CSO home internet. This one, server IP address and RDP will give you the remote connection. We show the following action should be done first after forensically imaging a hard drive. Whenever you actually do a uh, performing the imaging after the imaging you always take the hash so the if even if the single bit has been changed the hash will be changed so you get the proper knowledge of that so create a hash first you are conducting a review of vpn logs and found the url being accessed this 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 url has been accessed okay so they it's a data uh, directory driver cell tag whereas it, it is giving question mark and giving the uh, input so an sql injection tag there is no talking in the regarding sql xml no there are no xml tags the etc etc password or file downloaded using directory driver so yes if the input validation is url yes there is input validation also because using question mark and this one it's not only doing the traversal but also uh, input validation. Windows file server commonly files, database, password, and more. What common vulnerability is usually used against a Windows server to expose sensitive files, database, and password? So it is not talking uh, to a specific with us on a specific application or protocol. So CRLF no, cross site scripting no, SQL no, missing patches yes, because only the missing patches will get will cause the well, missing patches will actually may, uh, will be the cause of vulnerability misuse. Dion training is concerned with student entering the server room without permission. To prevent this from occurring, the organization, organization wants to purchase and install an access control system that will allow each instructor to have access using RFID device. Which of the following authentication mechanisms should training used to meet this requirement? CCTV, uh, CCTV, no. Biometric, no. Man trap, proximity badge. It's, it's specific to RFID, so, so the proximity badge. Richard attempt to visit a website and receive a DNS response from DNS cache. So if DNS has been compromised, their attack should be DNS poisoning. You received an incident response report indicating a piece of malware was introdu introduced into a company's network through a remote workstation connected to a company server over a VPN connection. Which of the following controls should be applied to prevent this type of incident from occurring again? So for this, so introduce in the company. You should go for network access control. Maybe I'm not sure on this one now. Introduce into company network throughout a remote server over a VPN connection.
ओके इसको एन अटैकर हैज इशूड द फॉलोइंग कमांड एन सी सो नेट कैट लिसन पोर्ट एटी एटी नेट कैट आई पी एंड द पोर्ट सो इट्स एक्चुअली लिसनिंग ऑन द पोर्ट एटी एटी एंड सेंडिंग द ट्रैफिक टू दिस आई पी ऑन द पोर्ट दिस मन सो नेट कैट विल लिसन ऑन ऑल कनेक्शन फ्रॉम दिस वन नो इट इज एक्चुअली लिसनिंग ऑन पोर्ट एटी एटी सो कुड बी दिस वन और दिस वन so netcat will listen on port entity and output anything received to a remote connection on this one and this one 43 and this port 443 so it's not mentioning the port here but here so this is the best answer you have run vulnerability scan and received the following output cve ssl protocol weak cbc code block cipher mode server side okay so there is a problem on the server side regarding the cipher code block cipher active directory encryption pki vpn tunnel web application protocol cryptography vulnerability is the answer dion training uh, has an open wireless network called instructor demos for its instructors to use during class but they don't want any student connecting to the wireless network the instructors need the instructor demos network to remain open since some of their iot devices used during course demonstration course demonstration do not support encryption okay based on the requirement provided which of the following configuration setting should be used to satisfy the instructor requirement and prevent student from using this network go for mac filtering network address translation no signal strength will not be able quality of service is different thing so mac filtering thing so uh, add the required devices into a mac into a mac filtering list so the those list only will be used will can use this uh, network so mac filtering an analyst review a triple home by a firewall configure that the uh, connects to a internet a private okay private network hai one another network internet untrusted network means a private network means a uh, trusted one and one other network which of the following would be best of course dmc so the third network should be in dmc it's because subnet is not a network gpo is not a network nids is not a network only dmc is the network mentioned there which of the following hashing algorithm results 160 bit fixed so ntlm using uh, one md5 is 128 sha is 128 ntlm is again a different one whereas rip md is actually 160 bit fixed what is the term for the amount of risk that a organization is willing to accept or tolerate risk transfer transference means transferring risk to the third party no risk avoidance avoiding the risk no risk deterrence so risk deterrence means to different where is risk appetite is the synonym of acceptance so this is the one The Pass Search Fast Corporation has recently been embarrassed by several high-profile data breaches. The CIO proposes up, up, improving the company's cybersecurity posture by uh, mi migrating images of all current server and infrastructure to a cloud. Again, the same question asked before. So, its answer was that location doesn't change the surface attack. During a security audit, you discovered that customer service employees have been sending unencrypted confidential information, personal email accounts. Okay, so they are sending confidential information on an unencrypted communication pathway to your their personal email. What technology could be employed to detect this occurrence? So there is a loss of data. so mdm is mobile device management no dlp data loss prevention yes ssl is the protocol different utm is unified threat management so 
it actually is the combination of DLP, IP, IDS, IPS, firewalls, not this one, only DLP, data loss prevention will help you to secure your encrypted confidential information. Leaks. Dion Training is building a new data center. The group designing the facility has decided to provide additional HVAC quality, heat ventilation, air conditioning capacity to ensure that the data center maintains a consistently to low temperature. Which are the following? So, what will be the benefit of additional HVAC? Of course, good performance. So, longer UPS runtime. No. Increasing availability of network services due to higher throughput, not the one. Longer MTB. So, longer mean time before failure. Hardware due to lower operating system. Okay. So, you will get a longer mean time before failure because of the lower temperature operating system. SSD has nothing to do with Which of the following categories would category would contain information about a French citizen, race, ethnic, and origin. Authentic Personal identification, no. DLP, D loss prevention, no. PHID, PHI, no. SPI. Special uh, person identification only contain these informations, not this one. These ones. Which security control would prevent an authorized user from connecting to a company's wireless network? Unauthorized user from connecting. Only NAC will help you. Network access control. It will it control the authentication and all everything. So NAS. Which of the following pair of authentication factors should you choose to meet the requirement associated with multi-factor authentication? So thumbprint and password, something you have, something you know, user name and pin, something you know, something you know, something you have, something you have, something you know, something you know, so something you have, something you know. okay i will call it y y system has recently bought out its competitor x which went out to business due to data breaches as a security analyst for y you are assessing x existing application infrastructure during your analysis you discover that the following url is is used to access application this 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 app account this one and this one okay you are actually inputting a uh, value into a variable so your change to url to 140 one two three four five four six actually so increment of one that the different user account information is now displayed okay so there is no validation so okay which of the following type of vulnerability or threat have you discovered XML injection? No. Insecure direct object? Yes. Race condition? No. SQL injection? No. There is no SQL, so no SQL injection. X there is no XML tag, so no. Race condition is different thing. Uh, uh, when your one resource need another resource, which is occupied. With, uh, but so, okay. Insecure direct object reference. So insecure, you are not validating the direct ob object. So that's why a cyber security analyst from a big group contacts your company to notify them that several of your computer have been attempting to uh, to create denial or DOS attack conditional against their server. They believe your company has become infected with malware and those machines were part of large botnets. So always called zombies. The own training offices utilize an open concept floor plan. They are concerned that a visitor might attempt to steal an external hard drive and carry it on out of the building. To mitigate this risk, the security department has recommended installing security cameras clearly visible to both employees and visitor. So the cameras will be visible for both employees and, and visitors. What type of security is this one? Deterrent. Because in the only deterrent deterrent is actually where you actually uh, 
uh, not forcing anyone not to do but only uh, getting uh, like putting them in a afraid type situation so uh, it's like uh, don't do this uh, this thing is watching you or something like that because just like in the restaurant they are written that uh, camera is watching you and something like shit that you work for Dion training as a physical security manager you are concerned that the physical security at the entrance of the company is not sufficient okay to increase your security you are determined uh, determined to prevent piggybacking okay someone is just following you it's just like tailgating but not tailgating what technique should you implement first always put a man trap is the best answer RFID badge no CCTV no this is no only the man trap only the man can stop the person behind you to from entering in the field or in the area the user have contacted the help desk to report that they have received an email from a well-known bank again the same question but the different answers okay We're from email from a well-known banking stating that their account have been compromised and they need to click here to reset their banking so they are actually getting familiarity with a well-known banking stating so they are actually getting the familiarity with the known bank no urgency urgency is like oh do this i otherwise xyz will be happened Consciousness is the different in intimidation is also the different conscious uh, conscious is like uh, there will be cons consequences if you will not intimidation there will, will be bad thing happen so familiarity is only the good answer your company uh, your company sock is currently detecting an ongoing dose attack against network your network's file server a cyber security analyst has identified a 40 internal workstation on the network conducting the attack. Obviously, it's a botnet. Too many computers performing a DOS denial, uh, distributed, denial of, distributed denial of service. So, it should be botnet. Dion Training has performed an assessment as a part of their disaster recovery plan. The assessment found that the organization raid. Okay raid uh, backup uh, types on average about eight hours to repair when two drives within the raid fails so it will take only eight hours when the two drives in the raid fails which of the following metrics would best represent the time period about 8 hours to repair means time to repair means time to repair when you are managing a risk what is considered an acceptable option always to mitigate it when you are managing the risk so mitigate the risk don't deny it will be consequences don't initiate it always a consequence do not reject it may be consequences so mitigate it so no consequences a vulnerability scanner has reported that a vulnerability exists in the system. Upon validation, the report, the, the validating the report, upon validating the report, the analyst determines that this reported vulnerability does not exist on the system. What is the proper term? So, scanner giving vulnerability exists positive. So, whereas vulnerability doesn't exist, false. So false positive. False positive. Okay, selected them. Okay, which of the following ports should you block at the firewall if you want to prevent remote login to a server? 110 pop uh, pop 3 23 telnet https smtp. Telnet is the only the remote login protocol, so telnet. 23. Which of the following physical security protocols would be the most effective in preventing an attacker from driving a vehicle? So, physical control is needed. 
through a glass door in front of organization headquarters always bollards bollard is just like a big balls placed in front of the firm so no heavy vehicle or light vehicle will pass directly or head directly into the gate of the firm or the main door of the firm it's just like the big balls placed feel like a decoration but it's not always like a decoration is to stop the vehicle entering into that zone which of the following cryptographic algorithm is classified as symmetric okay now it's talking about the symmetric algorithm so mean uh, one way one key so it's always rsa rsa wait a minute rsa Daffy Helmin is a asymmetric ECC is a asymmetric RSA RC is RCA is actually a, a asymmetric two fish RSA is two asymmetric okay. RC4 is symmetric. So two fish. Two fish is actually symmetric. The management at uh, seventh work is concerned about a row device being attached to the network. When you always need to find the row device, always go to your uh, Mac listing, Mac reporting. Report the which of the following solution would quickly provide most appropriate Steven depend. Physical survey not be helpful. Discovery scan using port scanner. Port scanner will not going to help you. If router and switch MAC address reporting, yes, always go for your MAC address reporting. Reviewing a central administration, no. Okay, that's a good. A sales person laptop has been unresponsive unrespons after attempting to open a PDF. So it's trying to open a PDF and it's getting some unusual activity. A cybersecurity analyst reviews the IDS and antivirus software for any alerts unusual behavior but finds nothing suspicious so not detectable by the antivirus and ids not possible which of the following thread would best classify this scenario ping of death no pia exfiltration no zero day malware could be rat no rat will all ids antivirus are advanced to uh, uh, to detect rat Pay exploitation different thing being of death is also different so zero day if it's not yet known so that's why ideas antivirus ha haven't detected so Dion training has performed assessment as a part of their disaster recovery planning the assessment found that the organization can only tolerate maximum of 30 minutes okay of downtime for their public facing web server which of the following metrics would be the time period time period rto or this one mean time of objective yes mean time to repair maximum time downtime maximum time time to find before prepare maximum time to repair mean time to repair no recovery time objective rto so mean time to repair recovery time objective because it's always a part of the objective that we can only tolerate 30 minutes what is the biggest disadvantage of using single sign on you are always focusing uh, always depending on the one point failure the identity provided issue the authorization no user need authenticate no it introduces a single point of failure yes your company is making a significant investment in IAS hosting to replace its data center which of the following technique should be used mitigate the risk of data remains when moving virtual host from one server to one server. always patch them always encrypt them always hash them so what's the best answer zero wipe no you will lose your data data masking will only add few things but will no, not uh, allow you uh, 
will not be helpful in securing span multiplier no use full disk encryption only encryption can save you which of the fall which which type of the threat will patch not effectively combat as a security control which type of threat will patches not effectively combat not effective for zero day attacks last question of this exam a financial service company wants to donate some old hard drives from their servers to a local charity the hard drives used in the server are self encrypted drives still they are concerned about the possibility of re residual data being left on the drive okay they have also the concern which of the following secure disposable method to use the recommended for the company use secure erase yes but it will not remove it properly cryptographic erase okay overwriting uh, will left the data there zero fill will set all by to or bits to zero only all bits to zero can cause problems to the device cryptographic arrays can be and the secure arrays can be secure arrays secure arrays mean that you actually uh, properly uh, deleting those files no cryptographic arrays it will actually erase all the uh it will actually hash all of the rest data and then delete it so cryptographic arrays finish oh damn we hit here was sweet 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 marks grading marks so the best one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so oh, go well and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and i will meet you in the next video so meanwhile take care bye bye